Hello everyone. So in this lecture, we'll see Euler's method that is a numerical solution of ordinary differential equations. Okay, guys. So let us begin with Euler's method. That is a we can say that numerical solution. Numerical solution of ordinary differential equations so first method that is i'm going to discuss that one is eulers or eulers method so in the eulers method yes we'll see what is that that particular method so we can say that uh, yes this method gives we can say that approximate value of ordinary differential equation isn't it so some approximate value will be given by this particular euler's method isn't it so yes we can see this method gives you can note down yes we can say that this method gives approximate value approximate value of ordinary differential equations ordinary differential equations isn't it so uh, let us consider a differential equation let's say consider a differential equation That is given as the dy by dx equals to f of x comma y. That means in the right hand side, some function of x and y is given to you. That is the type of ordinary differential equation. Along with that, we can say that some initial conditions are also given. So this differential equation will be given with some initial condition. So let us consider some initial condition is given to you. That is y x naught equals to y naught. The meaning of this initial condition is what? At uh, x equals to x naught, value of y is what? Y naught. At x equals to x naught, y value is what? Y naught. That is the meaning of this particular initial condition. And we need to find what? We can say that we need to find. Yes, we need to find value of y at xn isn't it and let us assume the value of y at x equals to xn is what yn that is to be fine isn't it that means at x equals to xn what will be the value of y let us consider the, that value of y is what yn isn't it that is the task to be done isn't it so what is the euler's method first time writing what is the euler's method isn't it so write down according to the according to Euler or Euler method value of y n is given by y n minus one plus h into f of x n minus one comma y n minus one, isn't it? Let us assume this equation is 1 where yes n value is what 1 2 3 and so on isn't it so here what is the value or what is the meaning of h or what is h so h is what that is interval size or we can say that width of differencing width of differencing or we can say that interval size So h is calculated xn minus x naught divided by n, isn't it? So where n is the number of intervals that will be given to you in the question statement, isn't it? So we can say that uh, if we can say that the number of intervals are more, 
so you can see in this particular formula if n value is large then h value will be small that means width of differencing or we can say that the size of interval will be less if n value is greater that's why we can say that if we take the value of n as a large value then yes we will be getting yes we can say that more correct value in the approximation we will be getting more correct value as we increase the value of n that means number of interval isn't it okay so this is the equation one so put value of n in this particular equation let us consider n value equals to one then we can say that put n equals to one in equation one then it becomes what y1 equals to y0 plus h into f of x0 comma y0 let's say that is equation 2 isn't it similarly yes put n value equals to 2 in equation 1 then equation 1 becomes what we can say that y2 equals to y1 plus h into f of x1 comma y1 isn't it and so on isn't it so we can say that yes y naught if y naught is given and we can find uh, y1 comma y2 comma y3 yes and so on using euler's method isn't it okay so I hope this one, this uh, working rule is clear to you guys, isn't it? So yes, we can say that Euler method is a, uh, we can say that solution of ordinary differential equation and that gives some approximate value of the differential equation means solution of differential equation will be in some approximate value. If number of intervals are more, then we will be getting a yes, more correct approximate value, isn't it? If number of intervals are small, then we can say that yes. If number of intervals are less, then we can say that yes. The approximate value will not be more correct value, isn't it? I hope this one is clear to everyone. What is Euler's method and what is the working rule? In the next lecture, we'll see some problems based on Euler's method. I hope this one is clear to everyone. Okay, guys. Thank you so much.